Hey friends, I'm Jason Sebo, CBA's National Sales Manager. And I'm Tony Smotherman from Traveling Hunter. And we're ready to load and shoot a couple muzzle loaders. And we've selected two of CBA's most popular brake action guns, the Acura V2 and the Acura MR. Now remember, all types of muzzle loaders have one thing in common. The powder and the bullet must always be loaded down the muzzle. So while we will only be shooting these two modern inline muzzle loaders, the process would be very similar in many ways if we were shooting a traditional flintlock or a cap lock gun. Now since we want to demonstrate a lot of the things we've discussed today, we'll be mixing things up with these two guns. In the Acura V2, we will use a measured charge of Pyrodex RS loose propellant. While in the Acura MR, we will use IMR White Hot's pelletized propellant. In both guns, we will use 209 primers as our ignition source. This will provide you with a variety of demonstrations that will likely answer most of your loading and shooting questions. That's right, Jason. Let's start out with the Acura V2. Always, the first step in the loading process is to make sure that the gun is unloaded. We do this by inserting a marked ramrod down the barrel. As you can see, it goes all the way down the barrel to the unloaded mark. So with that said, I'm good to go. Now, we'll fire one primer just to make sure the fire channel is clear and drive any moisture that might be in the breech. Next, I'll measure my powder, and in this case, 90 grains of Pyrodex RS to do just fine. I'll pour from the flask into the powder measure and then from the measure into the muzzle of the gun. Then, I'll give it a bump or two just to shake the powder all the way down to the breech of the gun. Now it's time for my projectile, a 295 grain power belt. And it's a 50 caliber, of course, well, because my gun is a 50 caliber. And then we place the bullet into the muzzle and then start it down the barrel using a CVA knuckle saver bullet starter. From there, we go to the ramrod and push the bullet all the way down the barrel until it firmly seats on the powder. Note one thing, this is all done in one smooth motion. There's no need to bang on the bullet as this will deform the bullet tip and cause loss of accuracy. And lastly, it's time to place the 209 primer into the breech plug. See how easy it is with a brake action? Just open it up and drop it in. Then close the breech. Now the gun is fully loaded and all I have to do is cock the hammer just like this and I'm ready to shoot. And like the old cliche, my friends, fire in the hole. Okay, now for the Acura MR. And we'll start out just like you did, Tony, testing the gun with a marked ramrod to make sure that it is unloaded. Then I'll fire one primer just to make sure that there is no oil or moisture down at the bottom of the barrel. With my gun, we'll be shooting IMR White Hot, which is pelletized powder so we won't have to measure. And to demonstrate how the rifle would be reloaded in the field, we'll use one of these power belt speed clip loaders in our loading process. My first two tubes are already loaded, so I'll just show how the last one is prepared. First, we'll place a 250 grain power belt arrow light nose first into the loader. And then, because we are shooting a magnum charge, I'll need three 50 grain IMR white hot pellets. Then, just insert it into the speed clip carrier. And lastly, my primers go into these compartments right here. Well, that's pretty awesome, Jason. Could you show us how to load your gun in the field? Sure thing. First, I position the tube over the muzzle. Holding the end of the barrel in one hand and the tube in the other, I pour the pellets down the barrel and position the bullet into the muzzle. Then I go to my knuckle saver bullet starter to start the bullet down the barrel. Now, to my ramrod to firmly seat the bullet over the powder charge. Next, I take a primer out of the speed clip, open the breech, and insert a 209 primer into the breech plug. I then close the breech and I'm ready to shoot. I'll just cock the hammer here we go. Okay, that should give you a pretty good idea of what's involved with loading and shooting your muzzle loader. But remember, this is just a general overview. It's not intended to take the place of reading and fully understanding the instruction manual that came with your particular gun. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please refer to your gun's instruction manual. Good job, Jason. And guys, good luck this season with your CVA.